Here's the best free video editing software for PC and Mac right now. We've tested all the leading options and there are some seriously powerful options right now with no watermarks. So this is my short list for the best free video editors in 2024. So my top recommendations in this video are all amazing free video editing options. Yes, they do have a paid option, but that's not what we're covering here. The free version of these are fully functional without watermarks and they're pretty awesome. Option number one is CapCut. Now this is something that we talk about a lot on this channel because it's pretty awesome and because it works on Mac. It works on Windows. There is an iOS and an Android version as well. It is really easy to use. The overall interface and experience is great if you're someone who is an absolute beginner level, never edited before. This is not going to be too overwhelming and too daunting for you. You'll be able to jump in and figure this out, but it's also got a ton of really powerful and more advanced features in here as well. One of the biggest things for me that makes CapCut a clear leader in this space over a lot of the other options especially if you're someone at that beginner to intermediate level, is the amount of built-in effects, transitions, animations, but not just having them in there, having them really easy to use and to customize up. Meaning that you can create something that looks absolutely amazing with very little effort. But there's also a good amount of control over editing and making minor adjustments and really tweaking things to get them the way that you want them. CapCut, in my opinion, is probably the most innovative video editing tool out there right now. It is crazy how fast it is growing and evolving and the amount of features that they're adding in there. Most times I'm opening the app and there's another update for me to do. It's also got the most amount of AI functionality and AI tools out there as well. And there's actually quite a few of those that are included in the free version. Obviously, if you wanna unlock all the AI functionality and all the functionality of CapCut, you will need to upgrade to a pro account. But for a lot of people out there, you're gonna find the free version will probably do everything that you want. The other thing that's worth noting is that there's a lot of stock footage and music and sound effects that are easily accessible in the app. But licensing wise, I'd be very cautious using any of those as I would with any video editing tool or app. I'd much rather own the license. And that's where for stock footage, we like story blocks and motion array. And for music and sound effects, we use Artlist and Epidemic Sound. And it's also worth noting that CapCut is owned by the company ByteDance, which also owns TikTok. So for those of you that are anti TikTok or whatever, then it's worth knowing that this is essentially the same company. Now for me, that's really not a concern. I think what you're getting access to here for totally free, but even on the paid version, what you're getting access to in CapCut is absolutely amazing. And I think it is one of the best options out there. But for those of you looking for something more advanced, then that's where you can't go past DaVinci Resolve. This is hands down the most professional video editing software out there for free. But this is also something where this free version of DaVinci Resolve actually beats out a lot of paid professional options as well. It's that good. So DaVinci Resolve work on Mac, on Windows. There's also a Linux version available as well. And there's even an iPad version available now too. And again, there is a paid studio version upgrade available as well. But for most people, you'll probably find that the free version again, is gonna do everything that you want. Now, DaVinci Resolve isn't just video editing software, it's also full video production software, covering off so much more than just the editing piece. It is an amazing tool for managing, importing, and logging your video footage. There's a dedicated area for just doing quick cuts and base edits, and helping you build out your story and your edit fast. And then, of course, you've got a dedicated area for editing. This is where you'd see this as an Adobe Premiere alternative here. Just this page alone. There's even a dedicated a space for color grading and color correcting your videos to really help you build out that look and feel that you're after for your content. And this is really where DaVinci Resolve first started. It was known as a coloring and finishing tool. And now it's so much more than that. There's also a dedicated workspace for motion graphics and animations. Think Adobe After Effects equivalent built in. Likewise for everything sound and audio production right through to delivery and customizing up your exports. So I know if you're just hearing this for the first time, that might be pretty overwhelming. Know that for me, I just really sticking to that edit page, sometimes the cut page if I wanna do a really quick edit, jump into the color page quickly to fix some colors, and then I'm exporting my project. So you can really go as deep or not as you like with this as well. But knowing that you've got access to all of these extra pro grade tools and functionality is amazing. But it is worth noting that with all of this extra stuff in here, that it's not as easy to use and to get up to speed using as something like CapCut. But for those of you that really wanna have access to all of this 
amazing functionality, then it's really not that hard to learn and to master too. And we've got some links down in the description box below to help you with this. And it's also worth noting that DaVinci Resolve is pretty power hungry when it comes to using it and using it fluidly and smoothly. So if you've got an older computer, then this probably isn't gonna run well for you. It's pretty resource intensive. But as with a lot of the pro grade tools, there are different settings and things that you can enable to help get performance on a lower spec computer too, but it's gonna be easier if you do have a powerful system to begin with. Now DaVinci Resolve is another one that is innovating and adding a lot of extra functionality and AI tools into the platform, but a lot of those aren't flowing through to the free version, those you will need to be on the studio version to access. And I'll put a link in the description box below where you can check out the differences between the free and the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. But again, for most people, what's in the free version is probably going to be more than enough or overkill. So rounding this out, CapCut is gonna be great if you're an absolute beginner, right through to someone at that sort of intermediate level. Someone looking to create fast, simple edits, a lot of drag and drop effects and AI tools, CapCut is gonna be the one for you. For those people that are looking for more, say you're at the intermediate to advanced level, looking for pro grade software, where the learning curve is definitely gonna be a little bit more than something like CapCut, but you wanna know that you've got access to literally pro grade tools, then DaVinci Resolve is your pick. And even for us with the videos that we make here on this channel, we are now totally across to using DaVinci Resolve for all of our content. And again, to unlock all of its power and performance, there is a studio version of that available as well. Now, for those of you that wanna take the next step on CapCut or DaVinci Resolve, we have a bunch of other resources in the description box below to help you. Everything from free beginner tutorials right through to more advanced mini courses as well. We also have a video editing checklist to help you edit in the most efficient way, which is linked on screen. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.